I've been married to my wife for 27 years, and I don't understand her at all. Not at all. That's what I meant about my daughters. It's the same with them, just as ineffable, unknowable. If you lived with them for 200 years, you still wouldn't know them. <laughs> my wife loved her mother very much, but she seems happier now that she's dead. I've never seen her so happy. I don't understand that. Do you? Granny was a remarkable woman. She hated me. I would have loved her. But she wouldn't have me. She couldn't stand the intrusion. I can still feel her power. <laughs> then Father Walter saddles us with this. You know, she was even more terrified when she was young. Ridiculously certain in her judgments. Simone will be just like her. So, you're leaving us? Yes. I'm going home. Mysteries. Mysteries going on all the time. Every moment. Right under our noses. Gabby told me that she wasn't coming back to college. I'd miss her, but I knew it was for the best. By the end of that week, I had come up with a new theory, that all my theories were bullshit. I had been consistently wrong. There was no getting around that. What I came away with was a memory of Granny sitting in the ruined chapel under the winter sky, surrounded by her past talking to me about God. Don't look so sad. Goodbye, Mike. All right, now, don't wait for me. I'm just going to go on through. Come on. <laughs> As I sat waiting for my plane, I felt certain of one thing, that wherever my journey took me, I wouldn't go alone. <laughs>